fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for an unboxing video of a custom designed part. Interesting stuff, eh? So, I always like it when a surprise package arrives or an interesting new package, and this one has a recently winged its way over all the way from Germany. There's a story behind this. I know various people, various hobbyists associated with uh, 40k and particularly the Horus Heresy over on Twitter and one of those is a guy who has an account um, by the name of Magos Terror. Me and him got chatting so he designs 3D printed parts in his hobby time for his Horus Heresy collection. He's got a nice pre Prospero Thousand Sons Force is working on and some great Sons of Horus Terminators. Anyway, he designed a Volkite Charger combi weapon. The Volkite Charger is an option in the Heresy lists for things such as, uh, well, Terminators and Squad Sergeants who can get combi weapons, Praetors and like. But at the moment, with the exception of the one, I think, one on the event and Warhammer World exclusive Praetor, the Terminator model, there's no combi version of the Volkite available, but it's a really good option, particularly with the most recent Arata, or one of the, I don't know if it's the most recent or the most recent, but what has made the, has removed the one use limitation from grenade launchers and Volkite charger combi weapons, so they've actually become a much more viable option. Anyway, him and I, well, he designed one and he sent me a few pictures and I gave him um, a bit of feedback and some thoughts on the design and he did some little tweaks uh, to r make it look more like the Forge or the originals and got a really nice looking uh, piece out of it. And very kindly, um, Magos Terra has sent me a package which um, he's made some for me, 3D printed them. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to unbox them, take a look, do a quick size comparison against a Terminator from the Forge World range and a normal like Space Marine weapon just to get what the feel for the size and just generally have a look at them. So yeah, so a big thank you to Magos Terra for sending these to me. I hope you're going to find this interesting and maybe a little bit of a look at the possibilities of CAD design and 3D printing for the private hobbyist, shall we say. Right, so that's enough of the preamble. Let's um, enter into this package. I will leave links in the description to Magos Terra's Twitter account. Do check him out. As I say, he does share content there about, well, as well as his um, Thousand Sons and um, Sons of Horus, or bits he does on 3D printing design, and other stuff. He's a, he's a nice chap. So, I've opened it. And a bit of packaging, a little bit more packaging. And then we have some bubble wrap and some parts. Now, there are a few extra parts in here that um, Magos Terra hasn't made and uh, has very kindly sent me uh, a sample. So, okay, so what we've got here is black 3D printed items are the combi Volkites and then the green bits, I'm not sure what those are. So what we'll do is let's get these out and take a look at the combi Volkites first and then we'll look at the green bits second. One thing I thought when he showed, he shared a Thousand Suns model he did and he showed it when it was printed, it was printed in clear resin and it looked really good, but you could see slight, you know, very fine grain from the layering process. He then shared the pictures of the model again. You couldn't tell it was 3D printed once it was painted. It looked great. Anyway, that's enough waffling. Let's take a look at these. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now these are um, made out of a flat black or matte black resin, so uh, I hope the lighting is good enough to see, but I think that looks absolutely brilliant. Yeah, look at that. So you've got your, your classic shaped Volkite barrel at the front, uh, you've got your bolter, you've got a very neat little um, bayonet attachment point there. You've got the iconic heat sinks or energy coil, whatever you would call it, uh, running across the spine of the weapon. Does look very good. And then he's also modeled on all the classic, ah, uh, there's a nice uh, catch. There you go, you can appreciate the detail. 
is model, modeled on uh, to his 3D model, which he created himself. Um, all the sort of classic details from a bolter, and this is to be consistent with the Phobos pattern bolter, so the early Great Crusade Space Marine small arm of choice. Oops, it escaped. It's back. I just noticed uh, it comes with a pre-drilled bolt gun barrel. That's absolutely astonishing what you can do with that. Um, I, I don't know what printer um, Magos Terra produces these on. Uh, I did ask him once and he told me I, I've not got any experience of 3D printing, but it did sound it did sound particularly exotic, I thought. Yeah, that's really good. Let's have a look at a couple more. How many has he sent me? Oh gosh, look at this, being very generous. One, two. I've got a lot of Vol combi Volkites here, which is quite good, so I have a, another Terminator project on the go. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So send me a dozen. Wow, thank you ever so much, Mr. Magos. Mr. Magos Terror. Let's have a look at another one. Do apologize about the lighting on this. Um, the lighting is okay today in this room. This is natural light at the moment. And it's a bit overcast, so it's a little bit harder to show you these given that they are uh, matte black. Um, I hope you can appreciate that the detailing is very fine and the accuracy in terms of the look he's got is absolutely spot on. That looks brilliant. Yeah, the Combi Volkite is a bit of a weapon of the moment for Terminators in Heresy at the moment. The rules need a little more fine tuning because they now cost, I believe, the same as a Volkite charger. And you shouldn't really have that because a Combi Volkite is a superior weapon. So it has the ability to fire as a bolt gun as well as a Volkite charger. So in, they need a little tweak on the points value to fine tune that. Um, but the principle is sound because a single use on a Volkite uh, as a combi weapon isn't enough. I wonder if someone will do a grenade launch version of this next and then it'll be crack grenades for everybody. Terminator Marines will get quite a formidable medium range anti armor capability. Good against the Mechanicum. Things like Talax. Yeah, that looks good as well. I'll have a look at a couple more. Slightly different, all about the same, slightly different tone on the surface of that one, but the details all there. Yeah, look at the precision on these. I tell you, if you if Forge World could or any manufacturer could mass produce in resin, then uh, 3D print, sorry, not resin, because I do that already to me. Um, this seems like the way forward for manufacturing these models. I believe at the moment, um, it, obviously, this is quite slow to produce. So when you talk about mass market, I can't get the light to play with that. But yeah, all the barrels are pre-drilled, ever so lovely. If you can see there, it's he's got, he's got the shape on the power coil just right with that sort of peaked pyramid shape. And just so, you know, by means of comparison, let's now bring in someone to compare size-wise against. This is an Iron Hands Cataphracti Terminator. This is a Morlock. Um, this is from a squad I've not yet shared with uh, you on the channel. Um, I managed to get these, uh, I've got these actually not that long before they went on to last chance to buy, but I've got 10 beautiful models. But this one, I armed him with a standard Volkite charger. And by means of a size comparison, uh, we can see that it does so very well. If I can get this right, there you go. Yeah, that works, doesn't it? Maybe just a touch smaller than a normal 40k uh, or 30k weapon might be, but that's quite nice. I, I do like the look. Um, 30k weapons tend to be a bit oversized anyway, so a slightly more delicate design is quite good. Um, and another comparison, this is. Um, this is just a Tigris pattern bolter from the Mark IV set that was a plastic marine set that was originally introduced with the Betrayal at Kalth game. And if we do another quick size comparison, we can see we've got a favorable size comparison there. Again, perhaps just a slightly more delicate sizing, 
than typical 30k sculpts, but um, it looks really good for it. And such fine detail. I mean, again, struggling a bit with the matte black here, but can you see how he's sculpted the fins uh, or the barrel fins to have the gap between it? You wouldn't get that on a cast resin model, you just won't be able to do it. Brilliant. Ooh, right, getting really close in now, just losing the focus there, but there you go. Yeah. Hope you're not all getting bored looking at uh, Volkite chargers here. So that's, so yeah, brilliant. Um, I think those are great. I'm working on a word bearers force at the moment, you know, I'm gonna have some uh, great content to share with you on the word bearers. Got some beautifully painted models that I've had done on commission so far. So I've got ten, uh, got five Galvor back, that'll soon be 10. And then there's a squad of 10 destroyers with jump packs that look absolutely mint as well. So I've got some content planned about on those. There'll be some dreadnoughts coming uh, next year. There's a, there's a whole force to come there. Within the force, there are some Cataphracti Terminators. And I think I'm going to use these Combi Volkites uh, as an arm. On that point, let's now move on to the bonus piece that Magos Terra has sent me. And this is clearly a... Oh, it's, um, this is a torso for a Cataphracti Terminator. Oh, lovely. Oh, ha <laughs> ha Oh, thank you, mate. Yeah, I know what this is. This is, uh, it's basically, it, it's, uh, this is be a fan-designed Terminator Cataphracti Terminator torso. Again, 3D printed, um, but it's supposed to be like a word bearer's uh, body, so like a Diabolist with these sensor bearers. And this is based on some art, which I believe, yeah, this is inspired by art from, I think it was book five, Tempest, Horse Heresy Black Books. Yeah, lovely, that is great. And thank you ever so much for that, mate. I do appreciate that. Uh, this guy will fit nicely into that said squad of cataphracti. And then on that, I guess we have some um, other little interesting supporting bits. Ah, yes, well. Quite an iconic word bearer weapon is the power maul, the mace. Logar is, is of course armed with um, the uh, the weapon Illuminarum, was uh, crafted for him by Ferus Manus. Um, so yeah, this would uh, go rather well with that guy. Yeah, definitely. And then we've got another two little components here. We've got a. That's nice. That's um, that's a Phobos bolt pistol. It's, it's, the casting quality in these is so crisp, so good. Very impressed. It does show how three D printing has really progressed. Um, I'll I'll see if my Goss Terror. I'll ask him to post a comment about the three D printer users for this um, in the comment section if I can. So it'll be interesting to know. Or I'll, I'll see if I can find out. Put something in the comments. Yeah, look at those. That would go nicely. Uh, well, no, not so much with that, but yeah, just two nice bits. Um, I don't know, maybe, is it because Forgeal don't make a drawn version of these? No, they do, but it's a nice design, I like that. Uh, very clearly a Phobos pattern bolt pistol. Oh, there we go. Well, a, f a couple of lovely little surprises in there with the uh, word bearer Terminator parts. So let's just... Um, use some wonders of modern technology. I'll do a little zoom in on, the, on these to finish. But yeah, as we say, um, yeah, a custom designed, so Magos Terra designed all these, he uh, does it as his hobby. Combi Volkites, uh, usable for well, basically any unit that can um, get that weapon in the game. I will be leaving a link to Magos Terra's social media. Um, down below so please do check him out give him a follow on twitter if you're interested in you know 30k content there will also be a link in the description to the 3d file um, for making the design for these combi volkites so if you own a 3d printer or know or like the design and have a, uh, or a company who can produce them for you you can uh, access that design and utilize it for your own uh, 30k armies so there you have it combi volkites for 30k Age of Darkness gaming, custom designed and 3D printed for me by Magos Terra. So I hope you found this an interesting video. It's a fascinating subject and perhaps, you know, an indication of 
of the future of how the manufacture of hobby components could go. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'd just like to say a thank you ever so much again to Megos Terra for very kindly sending me these samples. I really appreciate that. So thank you very much, mate. As always, I'd like to hear what you think about this. Please share your thoughts and observations in the comments section as always. And in particular, if you're someone who is a 3D printing hobbyist or manufacturer, you know, and just got any thoughts and observations, you know, the practicalities around producing large quantities of things with a 3D printer at the moment for miniature hobbying, very interested to hear those thoughts. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.